Hey CFS Warriors, it's Victoria coming to you from the Sea of Cortez. Give you a little peek behind me, it's a beautiful evening. And I just want to talk to you about something kind of personal about why I looked outside the box when it came to CFS. And there were a few things that happened in my life up prior to getting ill. Um, and I just want to start out by saying I am so thankful for good doctors and good medical help when we need it. Um, but I just had a few situations come up that made me realize, you know, I cannot put all my hope and power into a doctor and expect them to be responsible for my health. So it started out when my kids were little, uh, my daughter had ear infections all the time, one after the other. It was antibiotic, 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 and this went on for about a year. And I was desperate for help, but my doctor had assured me, you're doing everything you can, because there's nothing you can do about it. And you know, I didn't, I didn't really believe that. I thought, you know, there's gotta be something we can do. And so we're people of faith, so we prayed, and we believed we would find an answer. And it was interesting because I had a friend that mentioned to me that her son had no more ear infections because they'd gone to a naturopath. Woo, you know, that was like, okay, that's outside regular medical stuff. But I went to this woman and she said, oh, this will be easy. We'll take her off dairy, wheat, uh, eggs, oranges. But easy for you, that's not so easy for me as the mom. However, it really was amazing and that after that, no more ear infections. So it was interesting to me that she went to the source of the cause. She didn't try to treat a symptom like with antibiotics and the problem. She was just going to what's causing this at the root and let's take care of that. So that taught me a lot. Later on, when my kids, both of them were diagnosed with ADHD, it was interesting because we got the really strong arm to put them on medications. However, the medications they were wanting us to use could cause sudden death, you know, like if they went off of it. The experts told us this is how it's gonna be. They're never gonna be able to succeed in school. They may self-medicate. If you don't medicate them, they'll get into drugs. They gave me just the whole, you know, dismal story of what ADHD could do. And you know what? I just believe that my kids were made the, in the image of God. And they are, they had everything that they needed. And I knew that they were not less than. Long story short, we ended up homeschooling for a few years until I got CFS, which then I had to put them back into school. And the amazing thing was that my daughter, who they said, this is just gonna get worse and worse, she went in as an A student, an honor student. She won all kinds of awards. I don't say this to brag, I say it to point out that the experts were wrong. And with my son, the same thing happened. The head of the school said to me, Victoria, all we needed to do was believe. It's amazing. And you know, so it's such a, a satisfaction to me to see because my children are, are um, thriving for who they are and not trying to make them fit into a box that either the school or the medical system tries to put them in. And it just taught me that I don't need to always listen to what the experts say because I know my life and I know my kids. So the next thing that happened was my son was diagnosed with a life-threatening illness. And basically, let's see how I can encapsulate this. We were told to put him on a certain medication and every time we went to give him that, we gave it to him a few times, we just did not have any peace about it. My husband and I, we would pray about it and just go, we just don't feel right about doing this. And so we, we would go up to Stanford and we would meet with the head of the oncology department because though it wasn't cancerous, it was a blood disorder. And I would do my research and I would come up and say, well, this and this and this is why I don't want to do this medication. And we would just dialogue about it. And then we would end up leaving and not doing the medication. So every six months we would meet with him and he would just go, I don't, you know, he just didn't understand why we wouldn't follow his orders but we were following our intuition and that was a really scary thing to do and what we felt God was leading us to do. It was scary because this was our child's life. So basically, long story short, you know, he's recovered. That wasn't a lifelong thing like they said it would be. Um, he actually got pneumonia at one point, went to the hospital and his neutrophil counts, which is what it was related to, were sky high and the doctor said to me, I don't understand it. How could his neutrophils be normal and working? And I said, it's the power of prayer. And he said, I don't understand that either. And this was the head of the oncology department recognizing something outside of his box had happened. So when I was told that I had CFS, <laughs> you wonder why 
all these things. Life can be challenging, but there were some great, there's some great things in life too. Come on, I've had a great life. Um, when I was diagnosed with CFS and I heard, oh, but there's nothing we can do for you. I knew, I don't stop there. That doesn't mean there is no answer. That just means that they don't have the answer. So um, I just, that's why, you know, most of my resources that you'll find are very holistic and they come from a different perspective than the typical medical route. Nothing wrong with doing medications if you're being led to do that and that's something that you want to do. I just am coming from uh, a perspective of saying, look outside the box too. Never allow an expert's opinion or a doctor's opinion to dictate your future because words have power. And when they declare that over you and you take it and you believe it, you know, you'll never get better. So anyway, just to say, I get a little fired up about this, but just to say, look outside the box. You know, if you've tried all the medical resources at your disposal and you're no farther along the path, look outside the box. And um, I just hope that'll encourage you. So remember, life isn't over, it's starting again. If you're in recovery and you can use some more encouragement, be sure to subscribe. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. That lets me know. And it also helps it reach more people that can use some encouragement that might be in some dark places. Thanks.